My name is Nancy Hong, and I'm an artist, a poet, a curator, and I was executive director of Kearney Street Workshop, which is a, a Asian American arts organization in San Francisco. Um, through my career, which spans over 35 years, I've uh, accomplished many things, but one of the most interesting things I've accomplished is setting up a whole new generation of Kearney Street Workshop artists and actually giving the organization to them. I've been published. Uh, I've done five children's books and um, I've been published in many anthologies and shown locally and nationally and, and even a few times internationally. I'm part of so many communities and so many organizations. Some of them are the Asian American Woman Artists Association, um, the Manila Town Heritage Foundation, Kearney Street Workshop, uh, uh, oh, so many. I was on the board of Heyday, which is a book company, and I was uh, actually on the board of SoMarts. Uh, I was part of the CETA program back in the 70s, and that was through the San Francisco Arts Commission. And through that, I got to know many different neighborhoods, too. I am uh, as familiar with the Filipino community, the Latino community in San Francisco. I now hang out in the Fillmore District, and of course, Chinatown, and Japantown. So in many ways, I feel like I'm very much a part of the living spirit of the city. And I also implement certain programs uh, in each community. I'm curating a show now for the Jazz Heritage Center uh, uh, on uh, the legendary uh, John Handy. I was part of the Galleria de la Raza, uh, Mission Cultural Centers, Mission Graphica, uh, where I did most of my artwork silk screen posters. Uh, I illustrated for Children's Book Press, but also uh, was involved a little bit more deeply in the organization. So those are just a few of the organizations I've been involved in in my many years of service here. And as a poet, I've read all over the city and, and the Bay Area. My story of resilience began um, actually when I was about six. <laughs> I am an immigrant uh, born in China, and I came to the United States when I was five. So when I was six, my parents uh, put me into school. I was already a grade behind, and I didn't speak the language, and I uh, was so shy, and um, I stuttered. I uh, couldn't face the teacher. And always sat in the back, so uh, I was placed in the grade B class. In New York, they put you either in A, where you were quote unquote smarter, or in the B class, where you learned, uh, I guess, uh, how to make a living, but not too much of a, a living, because the expectation was that you'd get married or, or something. And uh, I had to overcome my study, stuttering. My parents, being immigrants, they uh, didn't have expectations of me being an artist. They wanted me to get a practical job. And there was an, an encouragement to go and um, to go to art school or even to have any artistic outlet. There weren't any crayons in the house or anything like that. So when I wanted to go to Pratt Institute, which is an art college, my parents said, uh, you can go as long as you pay for it yourself. And I did. Uh, I took on little jobs. I got scholarships. And I worked hard at school and kept getting scholarships and paid my tuition that 